All right, welcome to, an welcome to another episode of Inspired Content, where I'll be looking at the short story. Uh, welcome to another content, where I'll be looking at another short story from the work of uh, Where We Go From Here, edited by Isaac Asimov. The story in question this time is Heavy Planet. And basically, uh, this is just a quick review here. Uh, I would say this is a, an interesting premise. And again, I think the thing I keep coming across on this one is the sense that a lot of these stories, having been written in the 1930s, they're, they're a very different style and a different feel to the story. Um, you, have, you still have a lot of the influences left over from the pulp science fiction. So you have a lot of the characters are, even the aliens are very human aliens. They're just assumed to be a human being. In this case, the main character, they never really give a description, but you get the sense of just a really big, muscly, heavy, thick-skinned guy. Just an ordinary person. And um, the, the story as it follows is really a lot more of that science fiction uh, warring factions are trying to seize a piece of technology that's gotten into their hands, trying to figure out how to beat the other country. Um, to the technological advance from beyond the stars kind of situation. And so it, it still has a lot of that, the hallmarks of a time different from ours. I'm not sure if this is recording because I'm getting a lot of noise from the computer and it's freeze framing. So <laughs> hopefully this is something that's presenting well. Um, if it's gonna do this all morning, we're going to have a problem. All right, so as far as the story itself went, it's a reasonably good story. Um, again, it feels more like the introduction to a story than an actual story, self-contained story. And I think the other thing I would say that I had a little bit of an issue with with this story was this feels like it's better as a script for an episode of a TV program or you know I'm sure they weren't doing it at the time but you could probably frame it decently as a graphic novel <clears throat> so you could make a, a graphic novel uh, of this that would work better I think because really what you have is a guy on a boat on a water on a heavy planet he sees a crash, gets his boat out towards the craft, the crash before it sinks, finds it's a very light planet people, and the materials the ship are made out of, it, the, the materials that the ship is made out of are light and fragile materials, too light to be from their own world. And yet they were flying through space so they must have the power of the atom, which is what they're trying to figure out in order to power their ships in order to get off their planet. Because chemical propulsion isn't going to get them off their planet. So they need to find a piece of technology that can give them the power to get off their gravity well. Um, so that's literally the whole story. But... You know, the, the crash is a very visual element. The climbing on board this alien, fragile-seeming ship is a very visual element. Uh, getting into the ship and trying to find where they might have their atom-powered uh, systems, that's sort of like, that could be done really well with a visual element. I felt like there was a lot of description of climbing through sections of a ship that 
made little sense from a visual perspective on reading the pages. And I thought visually on a, a television program or as a um, panel by panel, like I would have even, I would have even preferred, I would have liked even to potentially have even had a map to go along with a short story. Because it feels like you're in this section, you go to this section, you go down these stairs, you climb up these, you break out through the hall at this point and climb up the side of the hall to this access point. It really feels like it needed a visual map. And I think that was my biggest hurdle to this story was it, it was visual without any of the visuals. And as a science fiction short video, I think it would probably be pretty decent. Um, as a story it goes, as a story, it's not one I'm going to recommend like you hunt down the individual story, but it's not bad. It wasn't a terrible story. So I, I, I say it's a fair story. And if you're interested in looking and do it further, there's a, uh, you can look in the collection of where do we go from here? Cause it's got at least a bunch of other stories that are worth at least looking at if not finding individually. So that's sort of my feeling on this story. I don't know that I would rate it as a, where would I rate it in the midst of the other? Uh, Martian Odyssey is still number one. I think I might do Day is Done as number two. Still Heavy Planet as three and then Night as four. I'm not sure. I might I might move those around a little bit as I go further. Looking back may give me a different perspective on them. But I feel like this one doesn't beat out Martian Odyssey at all. And the day is done for different reasons, has a, a, a character and story feel to it that I kind of like. This one didn't have a lot of character development or uh, story progression. It was really just kind of like, you know, a defending a mystical find from enemies coming. And it's like, I don't know who the character is. I don't even remember the character's name. It was not important to the story. It could have been any beefy guy ready to beat up any other them um, to defend an amazing find that's going to make all the difference for his nation and people. And that's just sort of all there was to it. I don't know. So that's my feeling on this story. I will do a follow-up video. Hopefully we won't get so much lag on it as we're getting on this one. And hopefully this one goes through. All right. I will do the follow-up for the creative prompts inspired by this story in a moment. So I will see you there for that. Thanks for joining me for this one. And hopefully this is working out. I don't know why it's behaving the way it's behaving right now. So, all right, I'm going to call it here. See you in the next video. Yeah, I said, see you in the next, come on, come on. There you go.